What's up guys, Hot Noob here, June 7th. Um, so for today, I'm just going to continue digging out a little bit more of this stuff here for uh, the foundation, backfilling that. Um, probably a couple more hours, two or three or so, and then I should have a good amount of uh, this material. And then after that, I will uh, start moving that over and backfilling and smoothing it out again see how high we get and uh, probably tomorrow the water should be dried up enough that I can get the the gravel from over there so I might start hauling that over um, tomorrow the the better quality stuff that I got there uh, could be some time though before it gets uh, low enough that I can get the higher grow like more of the high quality gravel from the ground from that area although there isn't much more that I can really do without disrupting the old building site because the plan I'm thinking right now for the old building site is I'm just going to utilize that old area for uh, say something like a shop or so something that can afford to be uh, under or get a little bit wet so because it's still quite stable there uh, there's lots of big boulders and stuff and and uh, lots of gravel and it's near a well and whatnot so it's still a good spot for say a workshop so um, I'm gonna try and leave that site open for probably a year or two uh, until I get something on anywho yeah I'm just gonna do another time-lapse or whatever see how that goes um, yeah
All right, I think I'm pretty close to, uh, to the height that I need or whatever before uh, leaving a very thin layer of gravel on. Um, it's kind of a shame to put the gravel on because I'm going to have to uh, re-level this, but uh, I think I got it pretty close to level here. Um, this little tiny bit I think is a tiny bit low and that's a little bit high, but uh, otherwise I think it probably within an inch. I don't know. Let's see. What's, uh, what's it look like there, eh? Anyway, yeah, I guess the plan for tomorrow, I uh, should be getting some materials in. Uh, hopefully. I mean, it's been really tough getting materials. Uh, some materials should come in tomorrow, and then later in the week from another supplier should be some other materials as well coming in. And uh, yeah, I think my plan for tomorrow is to maybe get cleaning up some of the silt. I mean, that won't take long. So uh, the flood brought in a lot of silt and or clay. It's probably silt, to be honest. Most it's mostly silt here. There's it's. There isn't much clay, so I'm pretty sure it's silt. So it brought in lots of silt. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to scrape off the top of this whole area where it got uh, flooded and just push it into the field there. And then, because that will help with the plants, but uh, leaving the silt on the ground is probably pretty bad because it really disrupts the ability for this uh, part of the land to really um, absorb water because the silt will uh, significantly slow down the absorption of water into the ground. So probably by tomorrow I think this will be drained off and dried and whatnot and then I can get rid of the silt. Um, at the very least I can start with getting some of the gravel from over there, um, some of the better stuff. Oh, I better not go too far. I don't have uh, boots on or rubber boots, whatever. So, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan for tomorrow. Try to get some of that uh, finer gravel on. I'm not going to be able to get a whole lot on. Um, just a thin layer. And that should be enough. Um, theoretically, it's not the end of the world to, to have the slab of sand. On top of it, you know, there's also going to be footers. So, um, mm. I know these days uh, a lot of people doing radiant floor heating or whatever in the slabs, um, the builders or whatever are putting styrofoam underneath the slab. And, huh, does that really make much sense to do? Because the, I'm pretty sure the, 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 pow the holding power of sand is actually higher than uh, styrofoam, even the, the, the styrofoam that is rated for under slab development. So, um, so I mean, why why put all that gravel? Like, okay, I already have a gravel layer underneath a natural gravel layer. So, why go for the effort of um, putting, say, another layer of gravel uh, just because it's the standard, and then. Um, putting something a lot weaker than gravel on top of it, so it's, uh, eh. I don't know where the logic is in it, so, um, like the, the slab is obviously heavy, but it's got a uh, high surface area, and, um, sand can hold a fair amount, so I got my tractor going on, and, I mean, okay, this is a little soft, I think uh, it's one of the problems is sand has trouble compressing. I think uh, it does compress though. Like this whole area <clears throat> is essentially sand. Like it's almost all sand, and it's pretty tough. Like when digging in, it it can be pretty hard at some spots. Um, like you, you see the the tractor struggles probably on the first layer. Uh, that that might be because there's some I don't know some roots in it or whatever, but uh, the 
topsoil is pretty tough here, like considering that it's 95% sand or, or even higher in some cases. So, hmm. Well, I don't know. Anywho, uh, plan is I'm just going to put a thin layer of uh, gravel on this.